everyone and welcome back to Waverly Reads and welcome back to another end of the month wrap up the books that I read in the month of May. I believe May's over like we're like halfway through the year already. This month I read five books and that's a pretty good amount of books however I did expect to read more so I'm a little bit disappointed with myself but I read five which is better than zero so I'm pretty content. First book I read was Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendrick Blake. This is a reread that I read last year, beginning of last year I think. It was on my immediate TBR this year because I genuinely just could not remember what happened in this book. Obviously I remembered like the basic plot but I couldn't remember any small details about it like I would any other book I read. I decided to reread it and I loved it just as much this time around and it's still on my favourite shelf. Not an all time favourite but definitely a favourite. Anna Dress of Blood is about this boy named Cass who is basically a ghost hunter and Anna is this ghost who is essentially just killing and torturing people who enter her house and Cass is sent off to find her and kill her because he has to kill ghosts that are doing damage to the society, to, to the earth, to you know just, just being bad ghosts. That is the strongest ghost he has ever came across and he struggles to kill her and then also finds out there's more to her story than meets the eye and they end up falling in love and it's kind of cute I mean you shouldn't ship a dead person with a living person but I do the next book I read was A Whole New World by Liz Braswell this is another one of the Twisted Tale Disney retellings and this one is based on Aladdin and Aladdin not ending up with the lamp it says on the cover what if Aladdin had never found the lamp but spoiler alert he does find the lamp he just doesn't get to keep it and I really loved the way that this story was told i really loved liz's writing and i really love her intake on the world and like how bad it can actually be and i would love to see this as a movie but not a disney movie because it's way too dark and twisted twisted tales to be a disney movie the next book i read is heartless by marissa meyer this is a alice in wonderland retelling and i honestly really really liked it really really like fluffy and girly for the most part of this book and i don't really like that side to it but i loved this i loved um catherine's story catless follows catherine who was the red queen now but her story before she became the red queen follows her jest and the king of hearts all kind of like fighting for her hand she wants jest jest wants her but the king of hearts is trying to claim her we all know this isn't going to end well for her and jest because obviously she becomes the queen of hearts but i was still rooting for it the entire time and then the ending literally almost killed me being said however there are a lot of problematic things in this book that you wouldn't get in today's society a lot of things that would trigger a feminist if you didn't take into account the day and age this was probably set in and then the last two books i read this month was taking part in the subathon i don't know who it was held by but i took part and that was my last weekly vlog if you want to go and check that out and the first book i read in that was where she went by gail foreman this is a sequel to if i stay by gail foreman which is about this girl named naya who gets into a car crash with her parents her parents and brother die and she's kind of in this limbo stage seeing everything around her while her body is in a coma she's basically trying to decide whether she wants to move on with her family or stay with her boyfriend and friends this is the follow-on story to that i wanted this to be an instant follow-on as in what happens instantly to maya um but it's not it's a few years later it's adam's point of view who is her boyfriend and his story then and then they meet up in new york and hit off again basically i don't know um it was cute don't get me wrong i gave it somewhere between a 2.5 three stars because it's not my type of book and i wanted something different then the last book i read was insurgent by veronica roth this is a sequel to divergent which follows a girl named tris who is, lives in this um world where there are these five factions that um basically control the government negation dauntless candor erudite and amity all stand for a different thing that they feel like is the sole reason for living like the dauntless is bravery abnegation is selflessness amity is peace candor is honesty and then erudite is um smart or thoughts or braininess i don't know this was born into the abnegation faction but she didn't feel like she belonged and then she decides to transfer to the dauntless faction but there's a twist because she's divergent and she has the aptitude for more than one faction 
and she has to keep that secret because it makes her dangerous. This is a sequel to that. You all should know what these are by now, especially if you watch my channel because I don't shut up about them. They're one of my favourite series. So those were all of the five books that I read in the month of May. Let me know what you read in the comments down below. And if you took part in a subathon, I'd like to see your vlog if you made one because mine sucked because I did, barely did any reading. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I post a new weekly reading vlog on a Monday and a new booktube video on a Thursday. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week.